In this tutorial, we will show you an overview of the CoDG Library Management System. When you open the software you will see the dashboard. Here you can see all the details of the issued books under Due Items category. You can also see the reservation list, the books which already reserved. You can also see the pie chart on the left side of the software. From Books and Items menu you can add books, edit books, print your barcode. You can make lost and damage entry, wish list. You will also get books and item settings. Under the Borrower menu you can add borrower or members, edit borrower, print ID card, renew membership, and you will found borrower settings. From Issue and Return menu, you will found two options that are Issue Item and Return and Reissue. Under More menu you can see the report, payment, you can send mail or SMS, and you can migrate your data by data migration. Under the Settings menu, you will find options like General Setting, Add Librarian, Database Setting, Change Password, Reservation Setting, and Notification Setting. Under the Help menu you will found options like About, Check for updates where you will found the latest version of the software if available. You can also see the user guide of the software. You can report a problem from here. You can also find technical support menu from here. Now let's see how you can add books from the software. To do that you can click on books and items menu. Then add books and items. And then click on the normal entry or you can directly click on the add books button. Now select your category, subcategory, enter in the session number, ISBN or ISSN number the title of the book, name of the author, classification number if any, subject, rack number or location ID, number of pages of the book, price of the book, etc. If you want any other field for your requirement, you can create it from books and item settings. If you want to add any picture you can add it from here. If you have your data in an Excel sheet then, you can directly import it from import Excel data. Now click on the save button. From search of the option, you can see all the books record. If you want to delete or update, you can do it by right-clicking on the individual item. Now let's see how to add borrower or member. To do that just click on Add Member button. Now select Category, enter Borrower ID, Borrower Name, Borrower Address, select Gender, enter Email ID, Contact Number. If the member paid membership fees then you can check it otherwise leave this blank. Again if you have the member's data in any Excel sheet then you can directly enter it by clicking on Import from Excel button. We have a separate tutorial for this to see that you can click on the see tutorial link. If you want to upload the image of the borrower, then you can also do it from here. Now click on the save button. You can also see all borrowers from search by option. If you want to update or delete any member or items, you can right click on them, then update or delete. Let's see how to issue any books or items. Click on the issue book button. Enter borrower ID all the information about the borrower will come here. Like the name, category, number of items already issue, late fee due, next renewed date etc. Now under add items enter a session number of the book. Now you can select for how many days you want to issue this book to the member by default, it is for 10 days. Now click on issue book button. Now let's see how to return or reissue any book. Just click on return and reissue button. First, see how to return a book. Enter the accession number of the book and click on the return book. To reissue any book just go to the reissue section and enter the accession number of the book select the number of the days and click on reissue item. To see the report click on report and analytics button. Select the report type and click on apply button. If you want to save this report you can do it by clicking on save as PDF or save as CSV button. Or you can take a print out of it just clicking on the print button. That is the overview of the software. If you want details video of each option you can check our YouTube videos.